Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator and we are going right back to the Greenland Seaside, or actually not the Seaside, the actual sea. Do some more deep sea fishing. And I think this time I'm going to see if I can't catch something really big if I can. And I believe there is something right here. I don't think we have to really go very far. Let's see, looked like I saw something just off of here. Let me see here. Use the hunter vision here. Oh yeah, there's some big fish over there. Kinda curious to see just what's out there. Yeah, there's some Greenland halibut out here that are monsters. I think, let's see if I can't take the speed down a little bit there. I'm not sure what the halibut go for though, that's the only thing. We'll have to try a few things, maybe look and see what they do go for. Now we know the salmon are here and the cod are here. There we go. Boom. Yeah, it looks like we got us into the codfish. Yeah, some of these Atlantic codfish get quite large. And they are fast swimmers, so he's going to probably take it out of ways. Come on, start the turn, guy. He's still taking it out. Wow, this this might be a record, guys. This might be a record. For me anyway. Lord, he's got 200 more feet that he can take that thing out. Okay, he's starting to slow down a little bit. Bless it, fish. He ends up spooling me. <coughs> Damn it, he broke it. Yeah, he had to be a record. I have got to get heavier line. And I don't think I can get it until... Let me see, guys. What's the heaviest line you can get? It's the deep sea lines. So you can get up to like 142. Now that... But you have to be at least a level 20 to even get the... the no, not even that. Level 21. <sighs> level 21. Now let's see what's out here again. I don't know what that is there for. got quite a few large species out there but got quite a few large species out there I'm just well it's going a little too fast I might change over to some other lures there's some spoons and there's some um, 
other hard baits that some of these big guys go for. And there is something coming here. Holy crap, that is a goblin shark. There we go. I want to get him in here if I can. Okay, I don't think he was as big as that codfish was. That codfish was huge. Yeah, see, he's already turned. We got him. We got him. Let's take it down a little bit. Yeah, we're going to have to play him a little bit here, though. Yeah, you can't just get all gung ho with these guys. They are sneaky. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. That's why I like to take it up to the surface, because once it gets about 80 feet out, I might have to flip that tension way down. Because it looks like he's already starting to fight a little bit more. Yep, he's taking it out some more. We'll get him, though. down just okay we're gonna give him a little bit of leeway here that's another thing you can't give them too much because then they can spool you seven seven hundred feet the maximum I don't think it goes any further than that god bless it well, he is He's a tricky fish. Yeah, if you ever want to see a really strange looking shark or fish, period, the goblin shark, first thing you will notice when you see one is it will kind of remind you, actually it was the uh, inspiration for Alien, because they have a, a set of jaws that extends out. Well, I can't even see him all that well. Damn. Uh, he's not my best, but he's still 57 pounds. It's nothing to sneeze at. Well, let's... Let's try changing the lure. Maybe we could try one that's... Let's see. We'll try this one. We'll keep it at an 8 odd. Sometimes just changing the lure colorations enough. Yeah, if this doesn't attract any of them, I'm going to go ahead and get a different lure together. My trap float. Boom! There we go. And it is a codfish. gaming okay 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 we might have him now 
He's not gaining. This is pushing the outer envelope here, guys. I've got it at 100%, which is never smart. But we were not gaining any ground on him. And now we're finally doing it. We're going to lower it back to 86. Okay, now we're getting some headway. I'm kind of curious to see how big this fella is, too. That other one must have really been a monster. Okay, let's take it down a little bit more. Yeah, it's going to take me a while to get him in, guys. All right, guys, we've just about got him in. Now, I have taken... Tension way down. But we got to start watching him. It's about the 80-foot mark. I'm hoping that holding up the air will keep him a little bit off-center. And I think it has worked for me. Let's see how big this fellow is. Holy crap, 191 pounds? I wish I could see him a little bit better. He's so darn low, but $1,119. Jeez. That's a big fish. It's a nice fish, and that other one must have been bigger. There's still some cods out there, but I don't see really any halibut. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Alright, I'm seeing some big fish over this way, though. Can't get my hunter vision just yet. Let's see. Those may be Greenland sharks over there. That is definitely a goblin shark. I can tell by his snout. Oh, let's take our speed way down. Yeah, I just took it up so it would reel in a little bit faster. Yeah, I don't know. Well, the goblin shark went for the other lure. I expect them to go for this, but I don't know 100% that they will. Okay, no activity so far. Whoop, there's another codfish. Damn. Well, these things are hard, hard, hard fighters. Okay, he's still gaining. I just don't want to get him out the, so far that it's going to be ridiculous. I think if I get another one, unless it's a keeper, I think I'm going to let the money slide and go for the XP. Because I really need to get levels here, guys. Starting to gain on him, too. Jeez, it's like they always got to take it out past five hundred feet.
don't think he's as big as the last one. We got him. We got him. Yeah, anytime he gets out to 500 feet, I'm get, I start getting concerned that I'm going to lose it. Well, let's speed up our retrieve and get this guy in quicker. Maybe we'll get a better look at this one. Who knows? And there he goes. There. It's right around 110 feet every time. try this one more time. Okay. There's the 80 foot mark. I think we might have him this time. Yep, we got him. Hundred and ninety one he was bigger than the last one. Well we are gonna release him. Six point five six feet. Yeah, we need the XP though. We need the XP. Alright, I am I see now I'm not seeing any of those guys. Now there's a halibut down there. Here he comes, here he comes guys, look, there he is, yes, that's what I wanted, right there, this is exactly what I wanted, look how flat he is, oh that's cool, this is the fish I wanted, or one of the fish that I wanted, I think he's starting to turn. Yeah, he's starting to turn. Let's put the tension up a little bit. Whew. I was pushing too much there. <laughs> okay, I think I got. Well, well, I thought I had him. I apologize guys, my dog wants to... Believe it or not, he wants me to cover him up. <laughs> He's a little beagle. 
Hold on, let's let him take a little bit of line and I'll fix Jasper's situation here. Come on. You're so spoiled. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I have spoiled my dogs to an extreme. Eh, he, well, at least we got the fight out of him a little bit there. Just amazes me how well they are able to swim with both their eyes on top like that. Now, I don't know if this is a Greenland or an Atlantic. This we'll find out here soon enough. Let's see. We need to start watching. Let's see if he's going to pull one of those tricks. I think we're going to get him in. I think we've fought him enough. Alright, little little flatfish, come on. See which kind you are. Atlantic halibut, alright. $321, 48 pounds. I see him a little better, but you see how both the eyes are on top? They just sit on the bottom and they wait for prey. Five point six seven six feet. Man. Forty eight pounds. Oh no, I'm gonna sell him, I think. And let's see if we see any others. Okay, there's a goblin shark. You can tell, those are so easy to tell from their silhouette. I didn't see any Greenland sharks. So, a Greenland shark's going to snap that line. I don't think I can bring one in yet. I sure would love to, but just don't see it happening, guys. Goblin shark? Yeah. The Greenland shark is one of the oldest living creatures, and they estimate they could possibly live up to 400 years. There he is. He's not really looking all that interested, though. Yeah, he is. Well, that's XP, I guess. If I can get him in. <laughs> They've been really good at getting out of this lately. They're just so damn big. Seriously? I guess I played around with him too long. Well, I was going to say, I don't see the goblin shark, but there's two of them up here. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can't attract their attention here. Maybe. I'd like to get another one. I think eight odd hook should be plenty good size, but not too big. Okay. Okay, that's where he was. Oh, and I need to take the tension way down. I'm not sure what my bait situation is here. I might need to add to it, take what 
Well, I should need to take away from it. What? There he was. Nope, I don't want that. I do. Boom. There we go. That's even better. Is, now, is that a Greenland? Or not an Atlantic? Yeah, I don't want to lose him. <laughs> He's going deep. Look how dark it's getting. Okay, I've got him. I've got him. Yeah, I think it's another Atlantic. Why did I go fishing? For the halibut. Ha 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 Bad joke. Bad joke. Okay, let's go top side here. Let's see if we can't... There's that sucker right there, damn it. He is a monster, too. Yeah, I really want him. I want to get him. Let's see how big this fella is. Well, that one I can see. Why can't I do that before? That's really good picture looks like there's another goblin shark how did I do that and what was the other one was smaller and I could barely see him well I am gonna get a picture of him Well, let's check out our bait situation here. Looks like we are down some baits. Now, come on, goblin shark. Here, goblin, goblin, goblin. And there he is. We got him. Now we just got to get him in. <laughs> There's the test. Oh, he's swimming very fast. Yeah, he's almost out the 400 feet already. Gotta start turning him soon. Damn it. He's gonna spool me. Yep. He's gonna do it. Unless I turn him now.
Nope. Well, hell, guys. That was great, but I just didn't get him. And there he goes. I think that was him. One last hurrah as he swims off to the sunset. <laughs> he won that round. Well, there'll be another day, and I'll have much stronger line. 71-pound test, and that couldn't pull him in. God knows how much he weighed. But yeah, he wasn't budging. He wasn't budging. You'll get that with the marlin, too, sometimes. The Greenland sharks, yeah. They're going to take off. At least we got one goblin shark. That, my friends, is a Greenland shark. There is absolutely no way I'm going to get this guy in. <laughs> as much as I wish. And man, I thought they were like slow moving. What happened to slow moving? Wouldn't it be nice? Even if he's a smaller one of his species. Even a smaller representative of the species would be nice to get. Yeah, he's going to be a fighter. Just don't want to break that line. Well, he's already out to 500 feet, and I haven't started to bring him in yet. Come on, big fella. Come on, damn you. Nope, nope, he's gone, he's gone. <sighs> Kills me every time that happens. <laughs> every time that happens, it just kills me. Well, they are definitely out here, guys, and they are biting. It's just a matter of time before we finally get one that we can bring in or we have the gear to make it happen. Right now, we just don't have the gear to make it happen. Yeah, I think I'm going to get one more. Hopefully, I can get one more in. And with that, call this an episode. But yeah, I'm, I think I've kind of proven that getting a Greenland shark is just not possible at this time. And there's... Whoa. Check him out. Alright. Codfish. You want to play with me? Let's play. Damn, if he didn't... This has been spooling me out day, I guess.
Yep, he's gonna spool me. Damn. God! <laughs> well, a lot of that has to do with the hook size. Let's take the hook size down a few notches. Actually, let's go down a little bit more. Let's take this down to a six. Catch one of a reasonable size. Probably won't have any problem getting one to, to latch on. The cod are just ravenous today. There he is. I think that might be a different kind of cod, though. I think that might be a Greenland codfish. Yeah, he looks different. He's nowhere near as big. Oh no, he's nowhere near as big. Just about got him in. Let's see if he tries to bolt at 80 feet. No. Yeah, we got him. I don't know just how big he is, but he can't be that big. Let's see if he's a Greenland cod. Well, you little. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see him? He was almost to the... He was almost to the boat! You really gotta watch him. They will pull that crap. Tricky little fella. I don't even think he was all that big, but it doesn't matter. He was. He's like, I'm just going to wait until you think you're nice and safe, and then I'm going to take off. Like a bolt of lightning. Clever girl. Yep, it is a Greenland cod. He's only nine pounds, but he pulled that little trick. I've just now noticed if I hold my rod up as I'm bringing them in, I now can see them better. So I didn't know that. But yeah, the markings are completely different on these guys. But yeah, there we go, guys. We did pretty good. I mean, yeah, we did lose some fish, but... We got to see them at least. That was kind of fun. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Don't know if we'll be coming back here or not. Haven't really decided. There's some places we haven't been for a while and might go and visit those for a little bit. But anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Man, isn't that beautiful?